Thanks for joining us today. I'm Keith Winkler and I create many of the beautiful floral arrangements found here in the Replacements retail store. One such as this arrangement with French and Dutch tulips today I'll be making and we'll show you many of the tips and tricks of the trade that you can learn to do this at home. For this arrangement, I've selected a beautiful Dom crystal vase, which is a 15 inch tall vase and has a rather wide opening. A tip in floral arranging, especially when you're using a vase this size, is that this has a rather large opening and we use a bit of transparent tape to kind of create a smaller opening to start the floral arranging. I'm going to apply tape now here, creating just a smaller center opening so that we can work around the edge of the vase. After I've applied the tape to the center of the vase, we'll start adding some of the tulips. And again, we're using the Dutch and French tulips today in 36 inch lengths. And I'll put two or three of them in each of the smaller areas created by these taped areas of the vase. Once these first three are there, just continue adding a few to each of the smaller sections of the smaller taped sections of the vase. You're basically building the arrangement from the outside in. Just continue building around the outer perimeter. Adding a couple more. We have one other section to fill here. You basically created this base of tulips. Again, you can move them, manipulate them however you like. Once the outer perimeter is filled, then start creating this bouquet. And I usually do this uh, holding a few of the tulips in my hands and making it look like I want the center to actually look before placing it in the center. And that may be just a combination of these and adding a few at a time. Because by adding the flowers to the perimeter, you've uh, created this base of flowers that this will then sit on top of and will give you some of the height of the, of the arrangement that you want. And once that process is finished, I've added a few moss-covered twigs to the center of the arrangement just to add another element from, the, from outside for the table. Once all the flowers are in the vase, take a quick spin around and make sure there are no obvious holes. And then as I said, the tulips are very naturally uh, droopy, so just kind of embrace that and droop a few of yours in the arrangement, maybe here and there. Maneuver them as best you can or the, to the way you like it. Once you're happy and satisfied with your arrangement, you can place it in your home or your table, wherever you like it. For our next arrangement, I'm going to take some lilies I used in an arrangement from the weekend and repurpose them into a dinner table setting for us today. I'm using a beautiful sterling centerpiece by Reed and Barton that actually contains what is known as a frog. It is as a, this can be a metal opening or a metal uh, plate with holes that would be used so that you can actually start and create your floral, floral arrangement. Uh, if you recall in the first segment, I used tape and it's, it simulates what the frog does for you. To begin the arrangement, I'm going to use this beautiful Casablanca lily and I'm going to cut it probably a little longer than I really need it, but once you cut, you can't cut again. So I'll cut here at the bottom. And once the lily is cut, I remove the bottom leaf from the lily. Just snap it right off. And you can start by placing this in and just see how far. You may need to trim just a bit of the stem. And for this particular frog, it's going to sit just beautifully the way we had it there. Leave as much of the foliage on as you can to give a little bit of greenery around the arrangement as you build it. Once that's completed, just start placing the lilies in the bowl underneath, underneath the Casablanca lily. You're building the arrangement all the way around. As we finish with the arrangement, it's always good to ensure that the arrangement is below eye level so that you don't block the visibility of your dinner guest. A couple of other variations to this arrangement could be some individual lilies floating in lily bowls. These are vintage bowls made by Imperial glass as well as Fasturia glass from the 40s. The first thing is to fill your vessel or bowl with water. Simply take the center Casablanca lily from your other arrangement and clip the stem probably just above the foliage. 
just simply place it in the candle wick lily bowl. And for the Fostoria lily bowl, we're gonna take a few of the, the pink blooms out of the arrangement and we'll clip the stems pretty close to the bloom like that. And the whole idea is to float the blooms around the edge of the, of the bowl. And if you don't have a lily bowl at home, you can use any crystal bowl that will work perfectly. For our last segment, I'm going to be using some containers you might find around your home, such as this beautiful water pitcher, or maybe even a teapot. For the arrangement today, I'm using hydrangeas that were pre-cut into a 16 inch stem, and they're in shades of white, pink, and lime. And I simply started with a few white hydrangeas in the center and started adding my other colors around the bouquet, just as I'm doing here with the outer lime colors. Once you've completed the bouquet, just simply drop them into the container. Creates a beautiful arrangement for a breakfast table. And for our last two arrangements, I'm using this lovely Wedgwood Sarah's Garden teapot. And I've simply used the same hydrangeas as I used in our other arrangement. And I folded the stems a bit. I'll pull it out of the pot so you can see it. I basically took the stem and folded it in half and created another bouquet and placed it in the teapot. While we're known worldwide for our tableware, we also have these beautiful silk flowers available for sale in our retail store. It's been my pleasure having you here today with us in our retail store. Be sure to check out our other videos on our YouTube channel. Thank you.